Hi, in this session let us see how to use backup and restore on a Windows XP machine. The backup utility of Windows XP helps you create a copy of the information on your hard disk. In the event that the original data on your hard disk is accidentally erased or overwritten or becomes inaccessible because of hard disk malfunction, you can use the copy to restore your lost or damaged data. To start the backup, okay before we go and start the backup, let us go to my documents and create a new text file in here. I'll give a name of it and I'll type in something in here. I'll go to file menu, click save and I'll close it. Now I'll back up all of the things which are there in my documents folder. So let us start backup, click start, go to all programs, point to accessories, point to system tools and then click backup. The backup restore wizard will start, click next. Now as we are taking the backup for the first time, so we will keep selected backup files and settings button and then click next. It is now asking me what do you want to backup. I'll say my documents and settings. Let us click next. There are a lot many other options I'll show. If you want to backup a custom folder or custom drive, you can go and make a selection to the option let me choose what to back up. I'll keep in my documents and settings and click next. It is now asking me the destination where I should back it up and the name for the backup. I'll click browse and then I will go to a location on the drive. I'll create a new folder. I'll say backup and I'll give file name for say Jan2012 and I click save. Once I'm done with the destination and name, I'll click next. You can have a look at the backup settings. If you are satisfied, just click finish. Now the backup is in progress. It is creating the shadow copy backup and backing up everything. Now it is done. So it says the backup is complete. And I can see the detailed information for seeing the detailed information. You can click the report button. Let us click report button. Now it says that backup has been done via shadow copy of C drive and the name chain two zero one two dot backup file dot BKF has been created. Everything was normal and it has created, it has backed up 863 directories and 83 files in total and it took just 2 seconds for a backup to complete. Let's close it. Now you're done with the backup, let's click close. Let's say for example, we'll go back to the my document folder. I'll delete this file. Now let us see how successful the backup has been made. So once I restore the backup I should be able to see this file back in my documents folder. I'll delete it from the recycle bin as well. Now let us restore it. We'll go to start all programs, accessories, system tools, click backup. The backup wizard will start, click next, also restore file and settings, click next. It can automatically show me what files, backup files are available on my machine. 
So we will expand this. I see Jan 201 to back of has been created. I'll expand it. I'll tick the box at C drive. It is telling me that media location is in D drive in the backup folder. I'm good. Let's click next. You can see these are the restore settings. We'll click finish. It is mounting the media as of now and starting to restore everything. The restore is complete. Let us click close and open the My Documents folder. You can see that my file with the same text has been restored successfully by the backup utility of Windows XP. Thanks for watching. environment it's essential to be able to back up your system on occasion so that you do not lose any important or crucial data now of course you can sort of solve this problem by having certain information saved directly to OneDrive in your file explorer so if you're signed in using a Microsoft account you can just save any of those files directly into OneDrive so that they're automatically backed up there however you may not want to do that or you may just want to back up the other files on your system on occasion and there are different tools available in Windows 10 to help you to do this so you have a couple of different tools let's go ahead and take a look at one of them if we go down to the search bar here and we just type in recovery you can see there are different recovery options here so we can click on create a say yes to this prompt here. Now what this does is essentially gives you access to a different drive that you have uh, inserted or plugged into your system, be that a USB drive, a thumb drive, whatever it is, you obviously need to make sure that the storage is sufficient enough for your entire system. But this tool here will basically allow you to back up every single item that is currently on your hard drive so that you can restore that later on. Now, why might you want to do this? This is something that you would not do like on a daily basis, but it's something that you would do deliberately if you knew you were going to perhaps be upgrading your system uh, or swapping out a hard drive. Uh, those would be into instances where you would do a full image backup using this recovery feature. Now, this is a feature that does take quite a lot of time, so I won't go through the process of backing up my own hard drive here, but the tool is very easy to use. Um, it will just walk you through it. You basically select the drive that you want to save the backup to, and that's all that you have to do. And then when you come back after that has been completed, you can go ahead and install that recovery to your system. All right, so after you have created the system image, how do you go about restoring that on your new system or on your fresh system? Well, what you need to do is come into the update and security section of the settings application and then go to recovery. From here, you'll want to go into the advanced startup. And what this is going to do is boot your PC into the BIOS. From there, you can choose to boot up Windows using a restore from a system image. So essentially, this is just going to power down your PC, reboot it into a special menu that gives you just a few options. And uh, from there, you can choose to restore from a system image. All right, so after you have clicked on Advanced Startup, what you're going to see next is a screen, something like this, with Windows opens up again. So you have a lot of different options here. What you would ultimately want to do is go ahead and select this system image recovery. And then on the next screen, it's going to ask you to select the recovery drive. And from there, it's going to re uh, restore your entire system. Uh, there's also something called a file history backup right here within Windows 10. So you can go into file history settings 
and you can see here under update and security so let's go ahead and navigate there from home update and security and then backup when you go in here you can add a drive so this says back up your files to another drive and restore them if the originals are lost damaged or deleted so you can add a drive this is the backup drive that i have connected to my system i actually use it just to store videos and photos and things like that so you can go ahead and select it and then you can turn on automatically back up my files now if we go into more options here we have some different options here now we can have it automatically back up files on a you know on an automatic basis here so maybe daily would be a good time to do that and then you can tell it how long you want to keep backups so if you have a very large drive this is a one terabyte drive I have a lot of space so I could say I want to keep those backups forever now what drives or what folders are going to be saved so you can manually come in here and select which folders you want to have saved to this backup drive on an automatic basis if there are certain folders you don't care about you can exclude them by default and it can just go goes ahead and uh, backs up everything now, if you have connected a new drive and you want to use that for your backup instead, you come down here and say stop using drive, and then you'll be able to select a new one. And this is also another area you can access to restore the files from another backup. So if you come down here and click here, it's going to go ahead and search for the backup. Um, so you'll obviously need to have that hard drive connected, and then it won't be able to go ahead and restore that. And then in addition, I didn't cover this just a moment ago, but you could also come up here into the backup options under update and security, backup, and then more options. And you can manually do a backup from here. So this may be the easiest way to backup your system if you are about to do something and you're afraid you may lose your data. Now what this will do is it'll restore your hard drive back to the way that it was. Uh, your settings and things like that will not be restored though, just all of the files within these folders.